Hey, it's Kilobyte here. And for those that don't know, Kilobyte is my longtime gamer tag. So my family and I do a lot of gaming, and we just happen to have, wait, some gaming chairs. And I thought I'd do a video on comparing them and giving you some ideas what to look for when you're looking for a gaming chair and about what it'll cost and features that type of thing so let's get going so the first chair i'm going to talk about is the emerge vortex from staples so had this chair this is the chair i use and i've been using it for about a year now it, it's around 150 dollars but you can get it on sale some of the things with it, it's got bonded leather, so the material will make a big difference on how long it lasts. This one is bonded leather. It supports 275 pounds, and it weighs 44 pounds. Now, the base is aluminum. It does swivel. The arms, they don't adjust for height, but they do move up you can fold them up and I actually keep mine folded up because I'm sitting at a desk and the arms will get in the way and I also like the fact that they fold up because well I play guitar and I can actually play guitar in this with the arms up so it is quite comfortable so I've been using this for about a year and I've sit in it for sometimes hours a day and it is held up nicely it does not have any sort of special lumbar support or head support but for a cheap gaming chair it's worked pretty well it does have height adjustment via the lever on the bottom Next up, we have the DX Racer. So there's your DX Racer. This is actually about a seven-year-old DX Racer. This range, they range today from about $260 to $300, give or take. They will hold about 200 pounds, this particular version. They're made out of PVC leather. They have high-density foam. So this one has this one has a metal brace. It's steel, along with the steel frame. Some of the I think the newer ones actually may have nylon bases. So check that. Uh, the new ones weigh 60 pounds. This one I believe was 65 pounds. So it has the foam back support adjustable. And then a the head support. So those are, that is nice. The I will say that the PVC leather is kind of cheap. It's almost like vinyl. Um, but and it does and it makes noise. So I don't like it near as much as the bonded leather or the nicer leather. Uh, that we'll get to on the next chair but it is a comfortable chair it doesn't have a whole lot of it, it's firm now i will tell you firm tends to last longer the arms are adjustable so these are things to look for they're adjustable up and down it will tilt back and it's got a height adjustment and you can lock it so that it won't uh, tilt back. So that is kind of your medium grade gaming chair. So now for the truly nice one. This is the Team Liquid Secret Labs Omega chair. It's a 2020 series. It's about $390-ish. You can find all these on sale at times, by the way. So some of the key things, it's, it's made out of, this one is made out of PU leather. I'm pretty sure that's polyurethane, 
but it's it's a decent leather. It's better than that bonded leather and definitely better than the PCV leather. <clears throat> leather. <laughs> it's cold cure foam, the seed is, and again, it's pretty firm, but you really, you know, they'll last much longer the firmer they are. So you look back at the emerge and it's definitely a little softer now it has held up for about a year so far so i'm certainly not complaining the pillows it's got the head pillow and the lumbar pillow they're both made out of memory foam really nice steel frame the base is aluminum alloy this chair weighs 66 pounds and it'll hold 240 pounds. Now this chair is movable four ways. The arms, move them back and forth, raise and lower. And you can unbolt them. So if you don't like the arms, you can unbolt them. It does tilt back. It rocks, it's locked currently. Raise and lower. Oh, my son's gonna love me for changing the heights of the chair. Another cool thing about this one is the horse on the back, Team Liquid mascot horse logo. So yeah, that's a really nice chair. Now there's always the alternative, the office chair. This is actually a really nice office chair. It was a refurb, $540 refurb. So we're talking around $1,000 new, if you can find one. It's a steel case Leap V2, and it has all kinds of adjustability. It's actually really comfortable. Uh, it's, if you name it, let me get out of the light, you name it, it's adjustable for it but it ain't cheap. So which one do you choose? Which one is right for you? Well, obviously your budget is gonna make a big difference and uh, your usage and what you need. Uh, honestly, the office chair, if I'm sitting at a desk all day and I have the money, I'm gonna get a nice office chair. But when it comes to gaming chairs, I mean, even this nice one is cheaper than the office chair and it rocks. I can tilt it back. I could sleep in this thing. I need the footrest. Some of them you can get a footrest with. So uh, anyway, the material is a big factor and then make, make sure it's sized for you if, if that's an option. Some of them emerge. You know, it's cheap. It's functional, it's not a bad chair, but it doesn't tilt back. Uh, you can't adjust the height of the arms other than tilting them up. But, you know, it's it was $150 when I looked just before filming this. I got it on sale for quite a bit less. So, look again, look for them on sale. Buy the best quality you can and get the features that you need, assuming it's all within your budget. Anyway, yeah, there. I'm sorry, there's no easy answer, but uh, I hope this did help at least uh, give you some ideas of what, what's out there and what they uh, can do. So I hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with your purchasing decision.